Are they Imperials? Worse. Skulls. On absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. That's enough! Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, music, art, <laughs> uh, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. So where craft has been being held somewhere at the Ziggurat to the south, which has been taken over by a host of key carrying bandits. That about covers it then. Oh yeah, that's what happened last. Be prepared for a fight. They may not be the most challenging foes, but there's sure to be a lot of them. Don't worry, we've already slaughtered a whole, like, colony of them. That happens. Please, let me go. I'm begging you. I don't want to die. Wow. Hear that? I think it came from the top of the ziggurat. Ooh. Who dares come to loot our man flesh? Hours to eat, hours to eat. Man flesh. We knew it'd come to this. Kill them quick before they alert the others. My Ralga. What did I ever do to deserve this? I've done. T I've gone to bed hungry for months. I'm skin and bones. I'd hardly make a snack, much less a meal. Desperate times. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, you found him. Such a happy joke, Mole. Wait, are you here to rescue me? Your sister sent us. It's going to be all right. My sister. Oh, Ralgar be praised, she's safe. And you, you lot fought your way in the here just for me. To think there are still good, brave folk in this world. We should go before the key carried return in force. Do you still have the Tributum? Oh god, it's the Tributum. The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. What? Right now? In your condition? You don't understand. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it in time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that, I've got a bad feeling about this. Listen, Burr, Mephrid, I think we need to go after Werkrata. Wait, you better not be thinking of stopping him. You heard what he said. If they don't pay one way, they'll pay another. I know that I do, and I don't want to interfere. I just, I just want to see that he makes it there safely. If that's the sum of it, then fine. Let's head down and see if we can't pick up his trail. A chocobo feather. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> She's just staring at it. Any luck? A chocobo feather, is it? Aye, by my reckoning, it came from Warcrowder's bird. In which case, there's a collapsed bridge just around the bend. You hug the rocks and stick to the shadows. We'll find him soon enough. Any minute now, I expect he'll come thundering around the bend. And hear that? Get to cover quickly. Are they Imperials? Worse. Skulls. Listen, Lise. Whatever happens, stay hidden and do not intervene. Understood? What? You there! Halt! You know you shouldn't be here. Explain yourself. Forgive me, sir. I, I came to deliver the Tributum. Oh, aye. A likely story. Only a fool would dare to come so late. Or, mayhap, a resistance spy. No! No, you've got it all wrong! I, I was waylaid by bandits! I it's not my fault! I said halt! <laughs> Is this a joke? You don't seriously expect us to believe this is a fit? How stupid do you think we are? 
<laughs> Spare us. You came late, you lied about bandits, and then you tried to cheat the Empire of its due. Think you can kill them all? Including the ones watching from the tower? Even if you did, others would come for him and his family. You'd be condemning them all to a life of hard labor, assuming they didn't just execute them, that is. But it isn't fair. This poor guy. It's your bloody fault we're stuck out here patrolling this godforsaken wasteland. It's your fault I have to listen to people go on and on about how Alan Egan's can't be trusted. I've worked and toiled harder than any man. I'm a citizen, goddammit. And what are you? A stupid, stubborn little dog who'd sooner bite the hand that feeds him and pine for the good old days. That's enough! Lord Xenos is expecting our report. I bet the poor bastard can't believe his luck. He gets to go home. We should do the same. I'd heard their commander was keen-eyed, but gods, that was a near thing. It tears me up inside to see our own kinsmen doing the bidding of the Viceroy. But they made their choice, and if it comes to it, I'll cut out every last one of them myself. Every single one. Rekrata's alive, and the tribute has been paid. That's all that matters for now. I, for one, would rather not wait around to see if the Skulls decide to return. We'd best get back to Alagana and tell Roggenfrid his man got the job done. Hello, sir. We owe you a debt of gratitude for what you did. Warcrafter told me everything, how you fought with the Kikirin and saved his life. For all the good it did, we saw what happened when he met with the Skulls, how they beat him half to death. We could have stopped them. Aye, I reckon you could. Mefred's a warrior, as is your comrade. And you're strong like your father. That much is plain. But I think, Ralgar, you did not, because it would not have ended with them. Warcrafter and his sister would have been branded insurgents, if not the whole lot of us. Bones heal, scars fade, but the dead remain dead. We're alive, and that's more than we can be said, for only the gods know how many others. It's fair. <laughs> that's enough for you, is it? To put up with whatever they do to you, so long as they, you get to see another day? That's right, you grit your teeth and you learn to live with the pain. I'll admit, I was quick to judge you, least, but for that I apologize. I know you and yours well, mean well, I do. But I'm telling you, God's in the heavens is my witness that we've got nothing left to give. We can't help you. I understand. Thank you for your honesty. She may say it, but she doesn't mean it. Nor would I expect her to. Her father was stubborn as an ox, too. If she's set on walking the same path, I but pray she won't follow it to the same end. Oh. Well, she took it better than I anticipated, which isn't saying much, I suppose. We should go and see if she's alright. Sorry about running off like that. Alamegan's terrorizing their own? I just can't accept it, you know? No matter what he thinks, they shouldn't have to put up with it day after day after day. I'm not completely naive, you know. I didn't expect them to storm a castro with their peck axes and shovels or whatever it was, but nor did I expect Werecrata to just lie there in the dirt while they kicked him. I can't claim to know their pain. I barely remember this place or, or even my father's face. But I remember Ida's. I remember how scared she was when we ran, and that look in her eyes when she talked about home. Her home, but not mine, is it? There you are, Lise. I've been looking all over for you. 
I am a cynical man. Cynical man. They call him a cynical youth, but to me, he looks kind of old. Cynical man. Well, you found me. Got something else to say. Aye, that I do. I, um, I said some things to you before that I shouldn't have. It wasn't my place to do so, and I'm sorry. All that rubbish I spouted about how I loved my village, but when one of ours was in need, I was cowering here with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Werkrata, but you did. Made me feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly cared for my people, I'd fight for them. So I will, if you'll have me. <gasps> You're asking to join the resistance? When you put it like that, I, uh, I suppose I am. But not just me. There are others I know who've been thinking about it for a while now. There's not many of us, and we're not hardened warriors like you lot, but... If your heart bleeds for Alamigo, then that's good enough for me. You and yours are more than welcome at Ragnar's Reach. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. I'll go and speak with the others and send word when we're ready. Still think is this isn't your home. <laughs> no, I I was just thinking out loud. Then with that, my friends, our mission is concluded. Let us return to the reach. First of all, allow me to commend you both on a job well done. <clears throat> Though nothing went according to plan, we nevertheless managed to attract some new recruits, and it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join. Thank you. No, thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years. It's been humbling. And troubling, too. I'd heard about the skulls, but that was the first time I'd seen them in the flesh. I know you say they're the same as any other Imperial soldiers, and maybe that's how I'll have to think of them myself, if our paths ever cross on the battlefield, but... When, not if. That day will come, Lise. You can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, conscript, citizen, Garley, and Alamegan, none of that matters. They've all got their reasons, but they're no better than yours, especially when they're bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want to kill them any more than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've never been much of a talker myself, but who knows? Maybe you could be one, at least. Your father certainly was. Go with the cat girl. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to thank you and the Scions again for patching me up after I bled all over your floor. I owe you my life and I won't forget that. Furthermore, it was rude of me to run off without saying a word. It's all well and good me claiming my duties here couldn't wait, but a parting thank you is the very least you deserved. My apologies. <sighs> and thank you. Now to business. Commander Kemp's entrusted me with a formal reply to be hand-delivered to the Alliance leadership. It covers everything we discussed, as well as detailing the disposition of our forces. What I need is an escort. One or two men at most, so we can make it to the wall safe swiftly and without attracting undue attention. Very well. I shall join you in this. General Alden commands the forces at Castro Morians. It should be simple enough to see it into his hands. Great, that's just what I wanted to hear. When you're ready to depart, meet me at the paths leading out of the reach. Got everything you need. Good. Then let us be off. Whoa. Ah! Quiet. Hear that? That was a Cerulean invented backfiring. Imperials. Ye gods, your pr preternatural senses. I didn't hear a thing. When you grow up hunting in these lands, you learn to discern the sounds that could mean life and death, be they of a predator or a patrol. From what I'm hearing, we have a seven-man patrol augmented with a single magitech armor. Wide search pattern. Divided into two, no, three teams. I don't think they know we're here. It's risky, but we should split up and try to take them all by surprise at the same time. We don't want them calling reinforcements. Three teams, three of us. Nothing for it, then. Where are they? Head north. You should see them long before they see you. I'll deal with the ones to the south. The armor should be just to the west. Burr is best equipped to deal with that. We attack in five. That should be enough time to get into position. Rendezvous in the west bank after. Any questions? No? Then good luck. Don't do this to me. It looks like everything went to plan. Nothing I am surprised. The three soldiers I faced didn't put up much of a fight. 
Most of the Imperials we get out here are conscripts from other provinces, with little training and even less conviction. It's grim work, killing men and women like that, but don't doubt that they do the same to you if the roles were reversed. And don't you dare pity a man in armor. Conscript or no, a soldier piloting one of those can kill a dozen good men in the blink of an eye. Not that I need to tell you that, after what happened at the wall. <laughs> right, I believe we've rested long enough. We should resume our journey before someone notices their missing patrol. We're clear. Only Alliance patrols ahead. You said the forces at Castor Warriors were under the command of Flame General Robin Alden, did you not? Know By Ralgar, the bull of Alamigo himself. I never dreamed I'd have a chance to meet the legend. Oh, the kitties. It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the Resistance. We are, General. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. As you say, General. Never meet your hero. <clears throat> On behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. I. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. Sad potato. <laughs> we will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial Regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Garleans, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is... When and where do we strike? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. He's so cute, but so violent. How's that possible? Our scouts recently informed me of an interesting development at Castillum Villadena. Namely, the arrival of a shipment rumored to have come from the research and development facilities near the capital, containing prototype mounted tech armor. It is our assessment that this armor is to be field tested here, most likely against Alliance forces, mayhap before the day is out. Whoa. Damn it all. More Magitech weapons? That's the last thing we need. Your concern is not unwarranted, but we needn't despair just yet. The shipment is thought to have contained a single heavy unit and one or two support units with a well laid ambush. We are confident we can destroy them all. Hindering their development and delaying future deployment. And should we carry this out as a joint endeavor with the resistance, they will have their rallying cry. It would be dropping all pretense about the Alliance not wanting to go to war with the Empire. But you'd have a lot more folk willing to stand up and fight if they knew they weren't alone. And you were going to have to do it eventually anyway. Exactly. And so what I propose is simple. We harry their patrols to bait them into bringing their prototype weapons to East End, where our resistance allies will take them from behind. 
simple indeed, and well within our cap capabilities. I see no reason to delay, especially if a field test is imminent. What say you? Assuming the Vice Marshal's intelligence is accurate, I agree with his assessment and fully support his plan. I shall notify my comrades at once. Understood. I shall have one of my men bring you the details of the plan anon. Anon! If we, for our part, will be fighting with the Alliance, yes? I somehow doubt you are intending to sit this one out. Uh, I couldn't if I tried. We've been careful to avoid needless shows of force this side of the wall, but that's all about to change. And when it does, you may be sure they'll send their new toys out to entertain us. I would ask you to participate in this operation. But from that look, I see it is a foregone conclusion. My thanks. <laughs> For Pippin's plan, we need to turn East End into an Imperial Graveyard. You're a damn hand at this, and I'd be a fool not to use you. Head to this spot on your map, right here, I. The patrol should be along shortly. Deal with them, then rendezvous with the rest of us at this location. Go well, bruh. All went to plan, then. Good. Our scouts report that a unit escorting the prototype weapons has left Castella and Belladina. The resistance is already in position, so we have but to wait for our guests to arrive. Things looked grim for us after Cartano, didn't they? Oh, how they doubted us. Yet here we are, right as rain. With fancy new toys to put through their paces. I get real sick of seeing this guy's face. But we've only seen him once. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Well, 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 if it isn't Garland's little troublemaker. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Xenos' face when I bring him your head. That is, if my secret weapons here don't grind it into mush. Attack! I'm gonna grind this guy into mush. Oh! Damn it all! Miracles of Magitech design my ass! I passed harder stools than these piles of scrap! You'll pay for this! Mark my words, the next time we meet will be the last! Did he say what I think he said? <laughs> Hi! Run and tell you, Viceroy! The day belongs to El Amigo! Well done, all of you. I'd call this operation a resounding success. <laughs> yes, John. It's so funny. Can't say I'm surprised. The Bull of Bellamigo had an impressive military record before he went west, as I recall. Credit where it's due, Master Kemp. Twas Marshal Tarupin who made this plan, and all of you, resistance and alliance alike, who carried it out to perfection. Aye, that they did. Not a single casualty, for which I'm grateful beyond words. I've no doubt our comrades back at the Reach will feel the same. As will ours. <laughs> Yay. It's been a pleasure, General. Until the next battle. Unago, I leave the Scions in your care. I won't wonder their hats. 
We shall return to the cast room then. Burr, Mistress Lavinia. 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 <laughs> I can always forget how to pronounce that. Once more, you might think, as Master Kim said, until the next battle. <gasps> yes. I'd heard the stories, but to actually see you in action, I almost found myself pitying the Imperials. Seriously, though, it was inspirational. Ah, but you must be tired of hearing that, eh? I'll keep it simple, then. Thanks for the help out there. Oh, you're welcome. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video, because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.